Down the hatch, lads. Keep it coming, that's right. Step lively now. Valiant, come aboard! It's almost time! Are you sure you won't come with us, Roland? On a dull voyage to an unpleasant destination? No, thank you, Valiant. I've made the trip before, and once is more than enough. Then I'll miss you. And so I imagine will Princess Alita. The return trip will be quite lonely for her without another woman on board. Alita? Alone? With Valiant? Stand by to cast off lines! Valiant! Wait! Sorry! Stand clear! Clear the gangway! Cast off the lines! Up with the foresail! Where are you bound, sir? To the Misty Isles, my good man! To the Misty Isles! I have misgivings about this voyage, Merlin. But Valiant seems convinced it's the right thing to do. I see no harm in bringing King Hugo and his daughter Alita to Camelot. A parley between kings is always useful. Have you forgotten that Hugo is the very same king who once tried to take my throne? Yes, and for that you banished him to the Misty Isles. But that was 40 years ago, Arthur. It's been a long time. It's not me I'm worried about, Merlin. Call it a king's intuition, but I fear that man has a very long memory. By my reckoning, we're here, my lord. With a following wind and a strong current, we should reach the Isles on the morrow. Very good. But have the men stay vigilant, Captain. I'm told there's a brigand fleet attacking ships between here and the Isles. I'll be sure to pass the word. Oh, this had better work, Arn. King Arthur had doubts about this mission. It was all I could do to convince him it was a sound idea. If something goes wrong. What could go wrong? The last time we were in the Misty Isles, we saved the man's life and his kingdom. Don't worry, Valiant. King Hugo will be more than happy to return to Camelot with us. I'm not going, and that's final. Nothing you can say will change my mind, Alita. But, Father, our escorts to Camelot will arrive any day. What do we tell them? Tell them, thank you for coming, but we're not going with you. Goodbye. But King Arthur is expected. Don't mention that man's name! Have you forgotten what he did to me, Alita? It is because of him we are forced to live on these godforsaken isles in the first place! And it's because of King Arthur and the fighting men he sent that we were able to stop an army of barbarians from storming our castle. Well, then we're evil. Father, listen to me. You're a great king. But outside the Misty Isles, no one knows you exist. How could they, with me stuck in this wasteland? All the more reason to meet with Arthur. The mainland kings have grown in stature by joining his new order. It's time you let the world know there is another king. From across the great sea will someday be the mightiest of them all. Beg pardon, sir. A ship has been sighted coming from the south. It flies the standard of Camelot. Please, father. If you won't make the voyage for me or for the kingdom, then do it for yourself. You deserve to take your place in history. My dear princess, how did you ever get your father to change his mind? With a little trick I learned from you, Valerian. I simply appealed to his vanity. Your Majesty, on behalf of King Arthur, I welcome you aboard. A pleasure to see you again, Prince Valiant. Especially under less, uh, <laughs> uh, trying circumstances. The pleasure is mine, my lord. I only hope this voyage marks a new beginning between the Misty Isles and Camelot. We shall see. Prince Valiant. Princess. this promises to be a most unpleasant voyage home. Why would you say that? Oh, just call it a woman's intuition. 
Lovely day to be under sail, don't you think? I just hope the sea remains this smooth and calm. I have this aversion to rough water. A princess raised on an island kingdom getting seasick. Silly, isn't it? <laughs> I suppose. You're Valiant's friend, Rowan, aren't you? Yes, Valiant and I are very close. We have been for quite some time. If memory serves, the last time you and I met, you were looking at me down the shaft of an arrow. I remember. Rowan, I have a favor to ask you. If it's not too much trouble, could you see that Valiant gets this? I'm most anxious to get to know him better. I would deliver it myself, but... Well, you see, if I showed even the faintest interest in a knight from Camelot, let us just say my father would not be very happy about it. You do understand, don't you? Yes, I do. I am so grateful to you. Thank you. We're sailing against the current now into a headwind. It could delay us three days on the return, my lord, unless you choose not to go back the way we came. What other choice have we? Just one. This straight to the north cuts through to the open sea. It's a faster route, but the swells can run high in the passage and make for rough voyage. It's your decision. When will you need an answer? I'll have to set a course before we reach the coast. Then let me think on it. I'll let you know, Captain. Very well, my lord. Rowan, the captain was just telling us about... I heard. What do you have there? This? Uh, I... It's something for Valiant. It's from Alita. She wants to see me. Oh? When? Alone on deck, after sunset. What should I do? What do you mean, what should I do? You should meet her. Well, I wish it were that easy. She unnerves me, Arn. Why? She's just a girl. I it's difficult to explain. But I would as soon fight 20 armed men than face her alone. And yet, those same 20 men couldn't keep me away. I've never felt this way before. Are you feeling all right, Valiant? Arn, my friend, I don't know when I've ever felt better. You know, I see no reason why we can't extend this voyage a little. I'll inform the captain. I should have thrown that letter overboard when I had the chance, and her with it. What? Rowan, what's the matter? I is something wrong? Whatever it is, you can tell me. I'm afraid, Arn. I fear I'm losing Valiant. Rowan, wait! Prince Valiant, could I speak with you a moment, please? It's very important. Of course, Rowan. What is it? I was just thinking that, well, Maybe you should reconsider and take the quicker passage, through the strait. But you heard the captain. The seas run high there, Rowan. Don't you think it would be wise to travel calmer waters? Don't you think it's even wiser to get King Hugo to Camelot before he changes his mind about meeting with King Arthur? Isn't that what's most important? Yes, but being tossed around on rough seas isn't going to do much to improve his humor. What if the... Valiant. He lives on an island. He's used to sailing. If you want this mission to succeed, take the straight. Get Hugo to Camelot quickly. Hmm. Perhaps you're right, Rowan. Why don't you come below? It's well past sunset. Why isn't she here, Rowan? I can't imagine. Perhaps she had something else to do. Stop, I'm so sick. That's it. More to the wind now. Good morning, my lord. And how did you sleep? Miserably, Captain. Quite miserably, thank you. <laughs> well, you should fare better tonight. We're coming out of the passage now. Now look, there's Catlin's Rock. It marks the mouth of the strait. Ahead is the open sea, and two days hence, Camelot. Well, I, for one, will be glad to see it. Captain, those two ships off the point, do you recognize them? No, but their behavior is certainly unusual. I can tell you that's an ill-chosen spot to strike sails. Unless, of course, they're waiting for someone. Wait, look. It would appear they've been waiting for us. Brigands. 
Give me a starboard tack now! We're under attack! Keep those sails close and the course steady. I'm going below. What is the meaning of this, Valiant? Brigands, my lord. Where's the Princess Halita? Below deck, ill in her bunk. My lord, look! There are three more! They're trying to cut off our escape. My guess is they hope to drive us into the wind. Once they force us to halt, they'll board us. You are the one who lured us on this fool's mission. Do something! Go below and join your daughter, my lord. You too, Chamberlain. You'll be safest there. Prepare for battle! This one looks to be our biggest prize yet, my lord. She's a warship, but of what origin? I cannot make out the standard, but I think she may be a Saxon ship. Well, not for long. Have the men prepare to board. Yes, Sir Mordred. My lord, what can we possibly do against five ships? We can fight, Captain. That's what those scoundrels want, and that's what we'll give them. Let's try those two nipping at our heels first. Bring the ship around. Come about! I want all bowmen to the rails. Divide yourselves evenly to each side. And hurry! They're almost on us! Captain, I want you to take us right between those two ships. Between them? Are you sure, my lord? Yes, Captain. Absolutely sure. And they're almost now, Captain! Coming about! Taking water, my lord. We can't stay afloat. A leader. <coughs> Do you see it? Good lord. That ship flies Camelot standard. We have to stop the attack. I'm afraid it's too late for that, Commander. She's sinking. Consider yourselves fortunate. We could have easily left you all in the water to fend for yourselves against the sharks. But we are not without compassion. By the mercy of our commander, your lives are to be spared. My lord, do you wish to speak to the prisoners? Mordred. Fate can be a cruel master, can it not, Prince Valiant? Of all the sailing ships in this world, it's yours that I have the misfortune to sink. I'm truly distressed by that. 
I can't say it pleases me very much either, Mordred. I was told we had royalty aboard. King Hugo, Princess Alita. I am Sir Mordred. Welcome to my ship. I only regret the circumstances under which we meet. Your attack cost me a dear friend. I can only offer my deepest apologies. But just what was a Camelot vessel doing so far from the mainland, anyway? A better question. What are you doing here, Mordred? And why did you sink us? We did nothing to provoke such an attack. You were mistaken for a Saxon warship. By the time Camelot's banner was recognized, it was too late. As for your vessel, the plan was to capture it, not sink it. Capture it? For what purpose? Unless... To raise a fleet. What good is an army without a means of travel? Tell me, Mordred, what kingdom is your evil army preparing to attack? I asked you a question! Answer me, traitor! Traitor! Twice now you've called me that, boy. The first time, I spared your life. This time, I may not be so generous. And what would you have me call a man who would plot to do away with King Arthur and all he stands for? If I knew such a man, I would have you call him a hero. Pig! I have no intention of betraying Camelot. I plan to protect it. Because it will not endure if Arthur has his way with all his useless treaties and endless talking. This, this is the only language an enemy understands. It's the only sure way to keep the peace. Someday, Arthur will comprehend that. Will, show Prince Valiant and his companions to their quarters. King Hugo, may I request the pleasure of your company and your daughters in my cabin for breakfast? I grant it isn't much, but it's all that I can offer. Are you serious? How can you even presume to... We accept your kind offer, Sir Mordred. I'm a great believer in fate, King Hugo. I believe it was Providence that brought us together. And we've something in common, you and I. Both of us were banished from Camelot, and both detest the man responsible. Go on. I'm listening. I'm gathering a fleet. But I need a place to assemble my men until I'm ready to launch my attack. I'm in need of an isolated spot away from Arthur's eyes, so as not to arouse his suspicions. I see. And would the Misty Isles be such a place? They would indeed. If I might be so bold, my lord, I suggest you meet with Arthur, sign his worthless treaties, and when the parley is over, arrange a date to send your tribute. Tribute? Why should I pay tribute to Arthur? It will serve as a grand show of alliance between your two kingdoms. And when your fleet sails to Camelot, unknown to Arthur, my men and I will be on board. And thus, we shall catch Arthur with his guard down. It's a little trick I learned from the Greeks, called the Trojan Horse. But how can you possibly hope to raise an army large enough to storm Camelot in one attack? I won't have to. I'm not looking to fight Arthur, but to intimidate him. By the time we do attack, we will have won over thousands of people within Camelot to our way of thinking. And if Arthur is the man of peace he claims to be, He'll step down rather than tear his precious dream to pieces in bloody civil warfare. Excuse me, my lord. If you won't be needing me, it's time I checked our course. The lords, the lady. Yours is an interesting proposition, Mordred. One that I am inclined to accept. But aren't you forgetting something? It seems Prince Valiant already suspects your intentions to move against Camelot. Ah, yes, the Prince. I have him in something of a quandary, I suspect. How can he go back to Camelot and publicly speak ill of me when I'm the man who saved both his life and yours? You will be kind enough to assure Arthur that the sinking of your ship was an accident, won't you, Hugo? And should Valiant cause me a problem later, I will simply do away with him. Do you understand? I understand perfectly. You're talking about treason and possibly murder. And does any of that trouble you, King Hugo? No. These are hard times requiring harsh measures. Don't worry about Alita. She will do as I tell her. No, she will not! Father, how can you put yourself in league with this, this criminal? I will not be party to murder, nor to treachery against a kingdom as fine and good as Camelot. Daughter, you forget yourself! 
More than your father, I am your king. And as your king, I command you to hold your tongue, girl. Valiant. I've been listening at Mordred's door and... <gasps> Valiant, what's going on? It's all right, Rowan. Will is a friend. He's in King Arthur's service, charged with keeping an eye on Mordred. And for good reason, I'm afraid. Will, are you quite sure Alita did not speak out against Mordred's plans against King Arthur? She said nothing, my lord. She's part of it, all right. I cannot believe that Alita would help to bring down Camelot. This man has not told you everything, Valiant. He was not there to hear... to hear... To hear what, Rohan? To hear about Mordred's plans after we arrive in Camelot. To hear that he intends to present himself to King Arthur and to all of Camelot as a hero for having saved our lives and King Hugo's. Valiant. Mordred plans to use this to win people to his side, to plant the seeds of civil war within Camelot. Oh, this is all my fault. It was my decision to sail the strait, and look where it brought us, to the brink of destruction. Not only did I place our lives in danger, I've possibly placed Camelot itself in jeopardy. Rowan! Rowan, what is it? I'm afraid, Valiant. Mordred may have won the battle, but... No matter what happens, you do know that I would never intentionally do anything to hurt you. That you are part of my heart. Yes, just as you are a part of mine. We will always be the dearest of friends. Friends? Is that all? Home. Rowan, look! We're home and we're safe. And I vow. I will fight to see that nothing ever changes that.